Welcome back. My name is Vance Martin. I am the Campus Accessibility Specialist at the University of Illinois Springfield. Uh, last week I answered some questions on accessibility. This week I've been asked to uh, answer a few questions about uh, universal design for learning. So the second question is, UDL isn't dumbing down the curriculum. It's about providing better access. What are some suggestions for newer remote instructors to provide access for all students? So I think that in this, this question that we need to think about um, the idea of um, internet accessibility as well. So uh, we're in central Illinois. Uh, I know that at our institution, we've had several students who've had difficulty um, with sustainable bandwidth uh, and access. Uh, especially in a period where libraries are closing and, and places that they might be able to go to for internet access are closing. Um, so that may be something that, that some of your students are experiencing as well. So I think that universal design uh, actually can help in instances like that. So like I said uh, in, in the earlier uh, segment, if we have a video whether it's a PowerPoint where we're doing a voiceover, whether it's a talking head video like I'm doing right now. Um, as long as we're providing captions and transcripts with these videos, uh, the video is certainly going to take a lot more bandwidth. I mean, uh, I think these are coming in at about 300 meg. Uh, if we produce a transcript, those are going to come in at about 30 kilobytes. So for those students who have limited access to uh, a solid strong bandwidth um, transcripts are going to be the better way to get that information so thinking about making the videos that we may or may not be creating simpler making them shorter uh, so that they're not going to take up too much too much space uh, you know so, some sort of video or, or PowerPoint created into video with a voiceover that had lots and lots say a hundred uh, famous works of art would be an enormous file. Uh, I mean, it could be, you know, upwards of a gig. Um, for a student to stream that or download that, it, it could take a very long time. So thinking about even just chunking things and the idea that it, it's dumb and down, I think that our goal as instructors is, is on any day is to get the information across. And I, I don't think that, that um, dumbing it down is necessarily uh, the way to think about this when we're actively thinking about universal design for learning or when we're trying to do it for some people as we are on the fly. Um, it's attempting to get the information across to our students um, in a way that will make sense for them. And we've already limited um, their ways of doing that if we're discussing students who three weeks ago used to be in on-campus classes and now are taking your class from home. They can't come into your office hours. They can't go ask their friends in the dorm. They can't go to uh, the Center for Academic Success and get tutoring. Um, they have very limited options. So by offering the same information uh, to a certain extent, redundancies, or offering different options of how the information gets across. Uh, it, it's not making it simple. It's not making it, it dumbed down. It's making it clear. And I think that that's something that, that any instructor, uh, any teacher, any professor wants. They want their words to be clear, to come across, to be understood. And I think that, that stress is probably going to uh, cause a lot of problems for students so things that are as clear as possible will be the most useful.